Real life is such a beautiful thing. Don't you think? <laughs> if you guys join this content, don't forget to like this content here. Also, click on the bell. Come on, be a part of the notification. Dang. Your wish is my command. Let me show you how easy it is to make a giant soup dumpling. Don't blink. First things first, the stock. So I got 10 quarts of water here, boiling away. Four pounds of pork hock or pork leg here, which we're just gonna dump into the pool. Everybody in. I don't care if they can swim. Just Get in! <laughs> to this, one large onion, two bunch of green onion, one stalk of ginger into the pool, and half a cup of Shaoxing wine, one tablespoon of salt. Into this now guys, we're gonna simmer this for about five to six hours on a medium low heat. Five hours in, all we're doing now, scooping all that goodness out, and we're just gonna keep the broth. What are we gonna do with the meat? We're just gonna eat it on the side. <laughs> Filter this broth one more time here. Next, I'm just gonna take these ramekin here and just place it onto my sheet. I take these ramekin and we're just gonna fill this up with our broth here. Nice and simple. Once we got all these ramekin nice and filled, we're just gonna throw it in the fridge for it just to gelatin. It's our meat filling. So I got two pounds of ground pork here. I'm gonna go in with five water chestnuts, two sprigs of green onion. Once you got that nice and mix, dump it into our two pounds of ground pork. So one cup of shrimpies, de-veined and de-shelled. Let's take this. So this is the texture you guys wanted at. Nice little chunky pieces of this. For seasoning, quarter teaspoon of salt, one teaspoon of pepper, one tablespoon of light soy sauce, tablespoon of fish sauce, half a tablespoon of sesame oil. Into this, take your beautiful clean hand. Mix that in very well, guys. You got this nice and mixed, we're just gonna throw it in the fridge for the time being. Our wrapper, let's do this. Three cups of flour, quarter teaspoon of salt, mix that in. One and a half cup of hot water going in. So one, I'll mix that in first. A nice and mixed in and crumble. So we're gonna take this half a cup and we're gonna throw it in nice and slowly. Ow, 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 ow. Careful guys. <laughs> That's the beauty of cooking guys. You gotta burn yourself. <laughs> nah, be careful, all right? Be careful, don't do what I do. Once you got it nice and crumbly like this, all I'm gonna do, form this with my hand. So you want a nice, soft, silky dough. Always look for a nice, soft, silky dough when you're making soup dumpling. We know this, guys. All I'm gonna do is pour a quarter tablespoon of olive oil in my hand and mix this. Just got this nice and mixed like this. I'm just gonna leave it to the side for about 10 minutes before we start rolling our dumpling. Pulling out my soup. It did not gel too well, but this is what we gotta work with. This is what we gotta work with, right? <laughs> Take our meat. Since it didn't gel so well, I don't think it'll come out. Oh, it came out pretty well. <laughs> I guess I'm just gonna throw two of this mixture in. I'm just gonna somehow fold this in. We'll start off like this. I'm gonna take half a portion of our dough, roll this into a nice snake. Shout out to all the snakes out there. <laughs> no, no shout out to all the snakes out there. Darn snakes, right? <laughs> Once I got this down into a nice snake, probably chop this into equal pieces. Some may say, Quan, that is so fake. How's that fake, guys? How's that fake? <laughs> all right, once you got that, I'm gonna roll this into a nice ball. We're gonna flatten it. This over here, guys, I need a little help. Shout out to all the Italians out there. I wanna give this a try. So I'm gonna roll this into my pasta maker. I'm cheating a bit, but it works. <laughs> Quan Tran is changing the game of soup dumplings. Get on my level. All right, you guys gotta get on my level on this. <laughs> this is legit. I ain't even lying. Look at that. Isn't that perfect? You got your wrapper. All we're doing is taking maybe one tablespoon of this going in. Flatten this. Make sure you flatten this. Once you got it nice and flattened, we take a little scoop of our soup. Throw it right in the middle. All right, the hardest part ever. I ain't gonna lie, guys. If you guys are new at this, 
it's gonna take you forever because it took me forever to try to master it. I still haven't mastered it, let's say that. I still haven't mastered it. So all we're doing is pinching like that. Then we take another, then we're gonna do another pinch like that. And we're gonna go all around. See what I'm doing? So we're just pinching this and I'm shaking because this is nerve wracking. <laughs> just like this. Not your perfect Shaolin bow. But I still work on this. So once you got it nice and crimp, all I want to do is pinch the top. My first attempt of Shaolin Bao, or few attempts of Shaolin Bao. So hopefully this doesn't burst. Mini Shaolin Bao complete. So all we're gonna do, take this. Give me a second, guys. <laughs> Take this, bring it over here to our steamer. Make sure it's nice and steamy. Take our Shaolin Bao, toss them into the pool. Aye. Steaming time, 10 minutes or eight to 10 minutes. Let's make a big Shaolin Bao that fits this bamboo dim sum container here or steamer. So nothing to it guys, same way. Roll into a nice snake. So we're just gonna cut off bigger chunks than before. Guys, don't, don't, don't get at me, all right? This is not, the tool I use when I do cry chop, I legit use my palm, all right? <laughs> I'm gonna double this. Now I'm gonna triple this. Manually stretch this dough here. Take some of this pork here. Toss it right in the middle. Flatten this. Throw on some of our soup. Let's put it together. So, nice and slowly. It's harder than I thought. Maybe I'll do it on the ground here. All right, <laughs> we got our soup dumpling. Okay, throw this in. Fits perfectly. 10 minutes up, check my bows here. Kinda just looks like a bun bow to me or giant Shaolin bow. This one kind of looks like Shaolin Bell. Take our giant one. Look at that. Guys, hopefully this does not burst in here. So take this giant one, toss them in. And we're gonna steam this for about 10 minutes. Got it all nice and cooked. A moment of silence for this, guys. Giant soup dumpling. Looking good, looking good. <laughs> I wanna say this is not your mini, but medium sized soup dumpling. How did I do? Rate my soup dumpling. I think the only thing now is just hopefully there's still soup inside. <laughs> Let's get into this, guys. Let's do this, guys. So first things first, our sauce. So some light soy sauce. Maybe just two tablespoons of this, or one. And a tablespoon or a teaspoon of black vinegar or Chinese black vinegar. I believe this is the vinegar soup dumpling is eaten with, but if I'm wrong, Quote me if I'm wrong, all right? All right, let's get into this, I'm starving. Let's go in with the mini ones first, so hopefully there's still soup in it. I don't have the right spoon for this, but it's okay. And it looks like there's no soup in it. <laughs> but the look of it, guys, looks legit. Guys, take the first bite of this. Quick time. That's got it, nice. I'm not gonna dip yet, I wanna try it first. I'm pumped for this. Wait, I wanna see if there, if there is soup in this. It just dried out. Uh, it's okay. I'm pumped for this. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. That's truly, truly, truly amazing. Mmm. <laughs> that one didn't have any soup in it. But I know one of these should have soup in it. All right, the one with the vinegar. Quick down, guys. Nice. Mm. 
That's truly amazing. All right, one thing I gotta work on, adding more soup in and getting the dumpling a little thinner. Mm-hmm. That had a little soup in it. Alright, this one has some soup in it. See that? Guys, the soup, quick time. It's got nice. Wow. That's a blessing right there. <laughs> the thing about soup dumpling, guys, you see where I did not over season the broth? The reason why I didn't over season the broth was because of the seasoned meat or the seasoned or marinated beef or marinated pork inside of this. Mmm. So it's pretty much like a balance. You got semi sweet broth, then you got seasoned meat. In the end, they're gonna collide and fuse nicely. But to the main event, the huge, the giant soup dumpling. I wanna do this. I've seen some places put straws in it. I wanna put a straw in it. So hopefully there's still soup in this. <laughs> Guys, sip of this, quick time. Nice. I'm pumped for this. Well. <laughs> There's a lot of soup in this. Oh, 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 ay, 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 why did I do that? Why did I do that? That's delicious. That's awesome, guys. The one thing I'm afraid of is that this meat is not cooked yet. <laughs> and I'm just sucking up the raw beef or raw pork. So all I'm gonna do right now is cut into it. Yes, it's done. It's perfectly done, guys. Come closer. Come. <laughs> I want to show you guys the most amazingest thing ever. If my camera wants to focus. Focus right there. You see that? Where's the broth? All right, I gotta push it over. You see that? That's truly amazing. <laughs> I think I got all the broth out. Take this, throw a little soy sauce and vinegar on this. Guys, take the first bite of this. The biggest or giant Shaolin Bao or soup dumpling. It's got it, nice. I'll pump for this. The most amazingest thing ever. Mm -hmm. Here's a question, guys. Do you guys know what love is? <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm. 
this nougat here is a little raw. A piece of the dough is still a little raw here. But everything else, truly amazing. Mmm. Mm hmm The most amazing thing ever. Here I have the medium-sized bao, or shaolong bao, but it kind of just burst, and I just cooked it on a plate here. But I know it's still gonna be very tasty. That's amazing. Truly, truly, truly amazing. Mm hmm. Mmm. This is a new way of eating Shaolin Bao <laughs> on a plate. If you don't. Drop any soup and you get extra soup. Mm. Let's mimic it. Let's make it seem like I'm biting right into a perfect shallon bao with the soup and meat and all. What an experience. <laughs> Everything's just perfect. Wow. The hardest thing to make in the world, but the most tastiest thing to take down. Most tastiest and easiest thing to take down. Wow, that was the best thing ever. <laughs> Hope you guys enjoy this one. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't. Also, don't forget to pick up on your bomb shirts of Food and Life's Beautiful Things shirt. Like, share, peace out.